Welcome back to the channel, guys. My name is Steve. This is my wife, Lindsay. And today we are super excited to be trying a rather huge assortment of British biscuits. Mm -hmm. We actually have 10 different varieties here, if I'm not mistaken. A couple of these, I don't really know if we would call them biscuits. Actually, I know the Galaxy Cake Bars aren't biscuits, but I felt like they just they're fit. Tea snacks. Yeah, they're tea snacks, <laughs> kind of. They fit in this kind of try video here. And fig rolls. Yeah, and the fig rolls may or may not be considered biscuits. I think they're a little more cakey, perhaps. I'm not really sure. At least when I've had fig Newtons in the past, they were kind of cakey. Right. I don't know about those, but guys, we're gonna quickly tell you what we got here and then we're gonna get started. Or do you wanna go ahead and pour some tea? No, because right. I, I don't want super. Gotcha. But uh, we got three different digestives here. I'm super excited about trying the Galaxy. Ooh, Galaxy brand. Oh, it's the orange. That the you're orange. gonna be excited about. So Galaxy Digestive Orange. We got the Belmont dark Digestive chocolate. Dark Chocolate Biscuits. We got the Belmont Just Regular Digestives. We have, these are actually another thing that I'm not really sure it would be. Cadbury cookies. Yeah, cookies. I mean, they feel crunchy, so yeah, I'm, I'm they guessing they're, they're biscuits. They're, it says cookies on the package. No, I know it says cookies, but I'm saying they're the same dryness oh, yeah, as a biscuit. Crunchy. So I think they're considered biscuits, even they're called cookies. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Cadbury cookies, no chocolate. Mm -hmm. Super excited about this. Didn't know they even made these until we received them. Um, these look good. M&S Outrageously Chocolatey Milk Chocolate Coated Custard Cream. Say that four times fast. Mm, that looks good. Obviously these Galaxy Cake Bars chocolate. Nice. Uh, we have the Tower Gate Fig Rolls. And these are M&S All Butter Shortbread. And this is Grandma Wild's All Butter Shortbread Melts. And then finally the Nutella Biscuits. Yeah. I didn't well, know they made those. Yeah, I didn't know they made those either. this is specifically a UK product. It says the only address on the package is from the UK. So I know the Nutella was, where was that made at originally? Nutella. Oh, no. Was, I want to say it was like Italian. Yeah, I think it is Italian. I, I don't know. Credits of a wrong, guys, where Nutella is originally from. But perhaps these are just a UK version. item version for Easy Nutella. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. I've never seen these in the US, so this is something we don't have here. So super excited about that, guys. But we did a biscuit video a couple of months ago and uh, really enjoyed what we tried. Didn't try any of these. These are all new. Um, but... Um, we didn't actually try have tea with that biscuit yeah, with that the video, biscuits, yeah. but then we came back and we did a multi tea try video where we tried four or five different versions of tea with or, hobnobs. With hobnobs, yeah. so we did get that experience of trying <laughs> biscuits with tea. It was enjoyable, so we get what you guys say. Have some tea with biscuits. So today we're going to be having some Yorkshire tea with our biscuits. So I guess we're going to go ahead and get this tea steeping, and we're going to open these packages. And we will be right back with you in just a moment. All right, guys, we are back. Our tea has steeped. We've got our milk in. It's ready to go. Um, we've got all our biscuits and cakes right here on mm -hmm. these plates. And, By the uh, way, the Yorkshire tea, we steeped it for like maybe a little longer than a minute, maybe two minutes tops. And then added a splash of milk. No sugar, since we're doing biscuits. I can't get over how like much like coffee this looks. It does. It really does. It's so different like golden. from... golden. Up until we tried the British tea the mm -hmm. first time, I had never seen tea that looked like this before. It was really interesting. But uh, yeah, guys, we got quite a few things to try here, like we said. So let's just go ahead and get started. All right. What All are right. we going to start with? I say let's go neutral to n least neutral. So okay. orange will probably be last. Or the fig rolls. All right, let's do it. Whatever, right. whatever you want. All right, let's start with the M&S shortbread. That's this one right the here. The ones that are like shaped like houses. All right, they're so cute. Try a little bit of the tea. Oh, they smell good. I'm gonna try it plain first, and then I'm gonna. Mmm. That's good. Yes, yeah, good. Mm. I love shortbread. Mmm, yeah, shortbread's awesome. Mmm. Mmm. I like it both ways. I, I do like too. it plain and mm. I like it with I do the too. tea. Mmm, that's good. I do like that. Again, I'm not really a tea person, I but I like the way that it 
makes the biscuit more moist. Mm -hmm. I think that's good. Also, steeping this last time. I think last time we steeped it for like four or five minutes, like which is like what it recommended on the package, by the way. I do like it like that. But I prefer it this way because it's less bitter. Like it was very strong. Yeah, I, yeah, it was, but I, I like that. Yeah. But, All right, what have we gone with next? The Grandma Wild. Do you know butter. something? We, we've only ever tried, other than that shortbread I just tried, it dipped in the tea. I've never tried any other biscuits other than the hobnob, so we haven't tried. That's true. Yeah. That's true. So, like, chocolate is going to be interesting, Yeah, we don't too. know what to expect with stuff on it. Yeah. What do, what do we got? The Grandma Wild's All Butter Shortbread Milk. Oh, you're going more, more shortbread, huh? All right, here we go. I'm trying to out her. All right, here we go. Mmm. Man. Oh, my gosh. That's like a sugar cookie. But so buttery. That is so sweet and buttery, yeah. It is very sweet. I think the tea will help. The tea warmed it up, obviously. Mmm. Mmm. Guy. Mmm. I really like tea and biscuits. I do. I know. It is good. <laughs> that is so delicious. I totally, I totally get how... I totally get the importance of tea with biscuits more than I did before I started this because mm -hmm. I get that a biscuit tends to be uh, very dry. Mm -hmm. And so it moistens it, you know? And it also cuts the sweetness. It does a little bit. It does cut the sweetness a little bit. It makes a little... I don't know how to describe it. Mm. That's good. That is really good. I want to keep eating it, but I'm like, we've got nine or eight more yeah, to try. We can, as long as you get the feel for it, what it mm -hmm. is, you can always go back later. Yeah. All right, I think you should pick next since I chose the first two. Can you guess what I'm excited to try the most right now? The most? Yeah. The custard cream? Yes. Really? I am. Outrageously chocolatey M&S milk chocolate coated custard creams. <laughs> that just sounds good. Where's that at? Is this, the, this one. What is it? Yeah. It looks almost like an inverted s'more. Kind of. A little but bit. It's cream. Yeah. Ooh, but marshmallows are uh, chocolatey. Cream. That's interesting how it's got the holes on the outsides of it. I know the filling doesn't reach all the way to Alright, so should I go should I try this in the tea first or well I, there you go. Mmm. I've been trying it plain first. That's good. Like mm. really good. That is pretty good. Let's see. Mm. All right, this is going to melt the chocolate a little bit. Yeah. Oh, my God. If it turned... It, it tastes like a s'more. I was about to say that. I was about to say it. This, when you, mm. you, when you warm it up in the tea, it starts tasting like a s'more a little bit. Wow. That's, That's pretty crazy. That's very sweet, though. That's good. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. Okay. So Not, far, everything we've tried, well, like three things, right? Yeah. Major thumbs up on all of them. That's one thing I gotta say. Like, out of everything I've tried in the UK so far, the 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 plain chocolate, the dairy milk types of chocolate, and the dark chocolate, just chocolate in general, uh -huh. and the biscuits, which we would consider crunchy cookies here. Right. They're so good on average. Like, average... Everything we've tried, cook, uh, biscuit-wise and chocolate, has been excellent. Yeah. Really. You guys have really good choices when it comes to biscuits and chocolate. I think you guys know that already, though. <laughs> All right. All right. I chose that one. You go. Which that one do you want? That was good. That was good. Let's go with... Let's do a digestive. The plain digestive. I loved the... What was it? McVitie's? I didn't, I didn't love the digestives. I did. No, I, I, I just kept on going back. I, I probably ate those digestives we had in like <laughs> two days, three days. Like uh, they were so good. I originally liked the uh, plain better, but then I tried the chocolate. I was like, okay. So which one are we doing first? We're going to do plain first. No, but we got, a, oh, a Galaxy is That's chocolate. That's Galaxy chocolate. Okay. So we're going to do the, what is this? These are the Belmont. Aldi. I think it's an Aldi brand. I don't know if it's an Aldi brand, so I'm not going to say that for sure. Is it Belmont Biscuits? But, um, All right, ready? Yeah. Oh, wait, I got I to gotta bite mine first. Now, I'm going to do it while it's long because these are very crumbly. These, the, the, for whatever reason, the Belmont Biscuits are very crumbly. 
Oh, look at that. It's soggy and super foul. Mm-hmm. I'm not like a huge fan of digestives just to eat. I can see the appeal though using them as like a crust. Mm hmm. Pot crust. Mm hmm. Um, or cheesecake. Very slow. Wow. Um, okay. I'm not a huge fan of those. But I, I don't hate them, but I, not like over the top, yay. I'd say neutral. To me, <clears throat> some of the comments, I forgot which video it was recently, maybe in the Easter video, said uh, we should start doing uh, two thumbs up, thumbs up, neutral, or down. Mm, so like something you really, really love, two thumbs up. Yeah. I feel like I do that sometimes. I don't yeah, it's, we, we're all over the place where our ratings. Yeah. <laughs> But it's I, not a science over here. First try, I think I like the McVitie's plain digestives better. I do too. Yeah. So. But I still don't love digestives. So. I, I I think those are good. Uh, I give them a thumbs up. Neutral. But the McVitie's, I think, were ever so slightly better. And maybe it's because I haven't had them in a while, and I've got because I like them so much the first time that I had them. So it's hard to tell, but. They're good. I, I like I like I like digestive, so All right, what next? I wanna I wanna try the Nutella man. I'm just ready to All try right. it. I, I don't know what to expect from this. I've only ever had Nutella a little bit of Nutella. Biscuits. So is it only this just chocolate ring and that's it? The Nutella? Is that all it is? I think it's like inside oh. and they placed a circular piece right. of cookie. Alright, let's do it. Mmm. There's quite a bit of filling. Oh wow, very good. I didn't expect that. Mmm, I like how it dipped in tea. Hmm. I like that. That's interesting. I haven't had Nutella in a while. It doesn't taste like Nutella as much as it does when you get off a spoon. Well, then a, it's cut in a biscuit. Yeah, but it's like, it's got a little more bitter flavor. Maybe they put more sugar in Nutella than in the U.S. Maybe. That's good. I like it. Mm -hmm. I especially like it dipped in tea. I like the way it melts a little bit. That's really good, guys. Mm. Wow. It is sweet, though. It's gonna be hard for me to put these in order. That's mm -hmm. good though. It's definitely a thumbs up. I know it's gonna be hard. Yeah, understatement. But I feel like everything when it comes to cho choosing is hard for me. I'm just indecisive. Look at me drinking tea. Look at me go. <laughs> and not even complaining. <laughs> Well, I think you're starting to like it a little bit. It's okay. I, I do. I think <laughs> this is about the only time I think I would sit down and really drink hot tea mm -hmm. or tea in general. I just don't drink tea, but like, I don't know. There is something about it that before you try it as an American, you may not quite understand it. Mm -hmm. But once you do, you get it. It's like, yeah. okay, makes sense with crunchy biscuits. I, I'm, I'm curious about with the cake though. I don't know. With a fig roll or yeah, fig roll. Yeah. I don't know about that. Fig roll sounds kind of nasty dipped in tea, but. All right. All right. What next? But do you want to do a chocolate chip cookie? The Cadbury chocolate chip cookie? Hey, we can. All right, let me get some water. All right, now we know our chocolate chip cookies. Lindsay makes chocolate chip cookies. I, uh, I When I make them at home, though, she they tend to be gooey. soft. Yeah, I like them a little more done than she likes them, but. But, oh, but I'm curious what everybody's favorite chocolate chip cookie that they buy from a store would be. Mm. Mine are probably Famous Amos. I like Famous yeah, Amos a lot. Yeah, you're gonna get like pre-packaged. Yeah, pre-packaged cookies, not like stuff you make at home or whatever, but like, um, I don't, I, I'm not a fan of like Chips Ahoy. No. I mean, I've had them. No, but... especially the soft ones. Mm -hmm. Ew. The, the Walmart <laughs> brand were better than cookie ones than, than those, but. Um, this smells interesting. 
All right, I gotta get some chips in this bad boy. All right, here we go. All right. This is interesting. The tea makes it better. Really? Yes. It doesn't mean. Oh my goodness. It gets soft so quick. Mm-hmm. Mm. I like it plain better. See, that's the way I felt about, um, what was it? I think it was this thing. The... The custard cream? Yeah, I think that's what I like. What was it? Now I forgot. One of these I like better when it was plain. I can't remember Digestive. which one. No, I, I, who knows? It doesn't matter. These are these are good either way. Hmm. Um, but it's uh, the Cadbury chocolate chip cookie. It's definitely a little different mm, than yeah the American version. It's I don't even. It's good. I don't, I don't like it dipped in tea, but I do like it on its own. I don't know how to describe it. It doesn't have as, you know what I think it is? What? When you make chocolate chip cookies, which is generally when we eat, we don't buy them. It's like when you make them for the most part, like um, you make them with very like, just like they're very good quality, dark chocolate chips that aren't, they're a little, have a little bitter to them. Also, you know what I think it might be? What? The recipe that I'm used to when it comes to chocolate chips has brown sugar, mm. like a lot of brown sugar and a little bit of white sugar. I think these are mostly white sugar. I think that's the difference, but they are good. You're right. I think I can taste that difference. White sugar versus the brown sugar. Brown sugar, brown adds, sugar adds a little bit more depth, I yeah, think. Yeah, it does. Yeah, that's what it is. I think, I think those are good compared to certain like Chips Ahoy and stuff mm -hmm. like that. I would definitely choose that over a pack of Chips Ahoy. <clears throat> yeah. Would I choose? I must say though, I, I think I might would choose Famous Amos over those. I would too. Famous Amos has a little, the the, the chocolate's a little deeper. Mm -hmm. It's not as- A little more complex of a flavor. Yeah, it's, uh, for lack of a better word, it has more bitters. Yeah. You know, I feel like that is just a little, little too sweet, but it's still good, don't get me wrong. Compared to your average store-bought chocolate chip cookie like Chips Ahoy and stuff, yeah, absolutely better. Um, <laughs> it's good it's good i don't know how i'd rate it yet though i say thumbs up i think it was good yeah if, I, if i'm rating it towards a homemade cookie probably not well i mean but if i'm rating it towards like stuff like chips ahoy and stuff i would consider it a thumbs up yeah. which i think is how you have to rate something like that as prepackaged and whatnot right so but yeah that's pretty good all right so we have still the galaxy cake the fig roll, the dark chocolate digestive, and the orange chocolate yes. galaxy digestive. Yeah, I'm going to be very interested to see what the galaxy's like. Um, Why don't we try the cake? Let's just get that. All right, here we go. Galaxy cake. I've been excited to try it. Yeah, I have to. Mm, it smells good. You cut this. Was it soft? Yeah. Oh my goodness, it is soft. Mmm. 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 That was good. You can't go wrong with a galaxy. Our prepackaged snack cakes and stuff in the US are not very good. They taste so artificial. But I will say, every prepackaged snack cake thing we've tried, I know, right? Now, the mint cabaret roll things weren't my favorite, but the quality was there. Right, that's the way I feel. Like I'm not a big fan mm. of I'm not a big fan of dark chocolate, but when I've tried the dark chocolate, it's been good for dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. It's like even the stuff that I'm not a fan of, when it comes to biscuits, like the flavors, either biscuit or chocolate, I can still appreciate the quality of it, and it still it, I can still tell that it tastes good mm -hmm. for what it is. Yeah, that, that's I like it dipped in tea too. Yeah, I do too. I made it soft and really, really fluffy. Oh Man. Goodness, so okay, yeah. Like, the t yes, guys, you win. You win. <laughs> tea. 
is excellent, but you gotta have milk in it. You, yeah, you gotta, we gotta have some milk. You gotta have milk in it. Uh, it, it, it really makes something like this so much more enjoyable. There it goes. Uh, I would have never thought you would hear me. I would never have thought I would be saying that. It really He's wouldn't. Been converted. <laughs> okay, well, here's the thing. I'm not converted to the fact I'm going to be the type of person that's just going to want to have, have a cup. afternoon tea every day. Yeah, I'm just yeah. not. I'm not. That's not me yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Continue. Maybe I will be, but like, <laughs> but the tea with the hot tea with the milk is so much more enjoyable. I was already the type that I. I enjoyed some herbal tea from time to time, hot mm -hmm. herbal tea, but I've never liked cold ice sweet tea like you get here in the South or whatever, or even here in the Midwest you get that some, but oh yeah, but not as much in the South. South is like it's a religion to drink. <laughs> I sweet know. Iced tea. When I met you and you told me you don't like sweet tea and you're from the South, I was like, oh, I'm sure people in the South think that too. About yeah, you. <laughs> I, I got disowned growing up, man. You can't. You, you can't be a southerner without liking sweet iced tea for some reason, but yeah. All, All right. right. Which one next? We've got three digestives, right? Or no, no, two digestives and a fig roll. Well, what's going to be our last one? Probably the orange. Okay. Galaxy orange is going to be the last one. So Let's do the dark chocolate digestive. So we're going to leave the, okay. <laughs> All right. So this is a Belmont, right? Is this Belmont again? So, yeah. Same brand as the plain digestive we tried. All right. Hmm. I think I like it better than the plain one. That's what I'm trying to figure out. I think the plain one I rated really neutral. This one I would give most of a thumbs up. Mmm. The dark chocolate is pretty bitter though. Yeah. That's what I'm wondering. Uh, which one I like better. That was tough, guys. That was really tough. I might have to like hold my opinion <laughs> on that for a few. Man. <laughs> yeah. I think I might actually like the plain better on that because I think the dark chocolate is just a little more bitter than I would like on it. Uh, because I already feel like this digestive is a little less sweet than the McVitie's. It is. I feel like it is too. Yeah, because I remember. From what I remember. I remember when I tried the McVitie's the first time, I was like, "This is almost like a graham cracker mm -hmm. or something." And without without the without the uh, like graham flavor, whatever that is, right. that, you know, it kind of reminded me of it. This doesn't give me any of the graham cracker flavor because it's less sweet mm -hmm. than that. I would say this. It's very subtle sweetness. It's it's good. But I still must say that the uh, uh, the McVitie's was slightly better in my opinion. Which, I mean, I think that makes sense because McVitie's is probably a little higher tier of a brand. Like slightly above Aldi brand. Wait, is that Aldi? Oh, wait. Yes! Aldi. I was right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Aldi brand. Man, that's a mess. <laughs> I'm probably going to, we're having a family get together next weekend, so... I'll probably use the plain digestion and experiment with it as a like cheesecake crust or oh, that's a great idea. Kind of crust. Yeah, that's a great idea. All right, what should we do next? The fig roll. All right, I have not had this. Let me see. Tower Gate fig rolls. Okay, the interesting thing is this feels like way harder, harder than a fig newton. Yeah, our fig newtons in the U.S. are really, really soft. The Fig Newtons, we have to have a uh, stronger smell. Mm -hmm. Probably the artificial smell. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. My grandma, my, my dad's mother, she used to have those all oh, the time. Oh, this is a Little brand. Well, I think that's how you pronounce it. Little or Lytle. L-I-D-L, Lytle, Little. Yeah, I still don't know how to pronounce that, guys. How to pronounce that? Little or Lytle? All right. Lytle. Let's see. Okay, so wait. Wait, hold on. So we have... So we have Aldi brand, M&S. This is <laughs> Lytle or Little. Mm-hmm. M&S. Okay. Wilds and Nutella. So I feel like we've got a good range of... Yeah. Then we got like, the Cadbury, too, and the Galaxy. Galaxy. Yeah, okay. So it's a good range of companies All right, here. let's try it plain and then... Ugh. 
it was much drier mm -hmm. than I'm used to, which would maybe lend itself good to dipping in tea. Yeah, and, and maybe that's why mm -hmm. it is. Maybe, would you guys dip these in tea? I feel like you'd want to. The filling is good. It is. It's more, it's not as soft as a, I remember a Fig Newton bean. Right. Bean. Hmm. Dipping it in tea makes it really, really soggy. Mm hmm Hmm. I would say I'm neutral on that. It's not bad. I would say I'm neutral on that too. Um I was never over the top like someone that just loved fig noodles. Me either. I enjoy them sometimes, mm. every once in a while. Yeah. Sophia loves figs. She'll just eat figs. Mm. <laughs> Not me. I think it's good. I still don't know where I rate it in terms of everything else. I'm going to just have to do that in just a moment. Although this is going to be very hard. <laughs> yeah. We got so many crazy. crumbs over here. <laughs> <laughs> These, some, something about the Belmont digestives. Those are out of out of this video and the last. I don't know how many viscous varieties do we try. They're the very soft, I think. Y yeah, they, they fall apart easily. They vary. These are the these the Belmont viscous, the two varieties, the Belmont digestives. They just fall apart so, so maybe easy. don't take them on a road trip. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Pack yeah, carefully. seriously. All right, this and the finale is what I think Lindsay's going to love. I don't know. Is it milk chocolate? G Galaxy orange. Come on. Okay. There's no way you. I, I, I'm gonna be shocked if you don't. Well, I just don't love digestives. Right, but you might love the. Ooh, but it smells good. You liked everything else, Galaxy. Mmm. Smells very orangey. Mmm. It's like cherry chocolate orange. Mmm. On a biscuit. Mmm. Dip it in tea. All right. All right. I can't wait to see your expression on this one. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. That is good. That mm. is good. Okay. Yeah. Sold. Again, I'm not even the orange fan here, but mm. I love this. I like it. Man, Galaxy, dude. Galaxy is so good. It really it is. It really is. Oh, my goodness. Wow, that's good. But I will say, the M and S chocolate custard creams were like on par mm. with the Galaxy too. Mmm, that is good. Sophia's gonna love this. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Mmm. <clears throat> yeah, that might be my favorite digestive I've ever. Mmm. I mean, I've tried what, like four or five, five different digestives now. Dude, yeah, dude. I am so, oh my goodness, guys. <laughs> I am not even the orange fan, but that is so good. If you have not tried the Galaxy Digestive Orange Biscuits, and you like orange at all, and you like Digestive Biscuits, mm -hmm. dude, and you like Galaxy, put them all together. That is delicious. It, really does, it tastes like cherries, chocolate, orange. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it does. <laughs> oh my goodness, dude. I, that, this is going to be hard to rate. Some of it is for me, definitely. Wow. One mm. Oh my gosh, though. I'm getting like really full. With the tea, the tea with the biscuits mm -hmm. fills you up more. Maybe that's another reason for it. Maybe you that's can. That's true. Maybe, it causes you to eat less of. But maybe you can enjoy your biscuits mm -hmm. and tea, but you're. You don't feel like you need to go, oh my goodness, I got to get another one or whatever. I will say that, yeah. If I'm going to have like cookies or biscuits, pairing it with tea, mm -hmm. it does cut back on the desire to eat more yeah. of them. Because you feel fuller. Yeah, it definitely does. Huh. Oh, man. I like goodness, guys. Yes. Woo! <laughs> Wow, I'm not, again, I'm not the tea person here, but I, I, I must say that having it with some biscuits is, is pretty enjoyable. I get it, totally get it. Um, but 
This right here is going to be a little bit of a mess to try to rank, so, uh, but let's go ahead and do this. Let's, uh, all right, guys, do you want to go first or do you want me to go first? I'll go first. All right. Are you going for worst oh, to best? I'm going to go, I'm going to start at the top. The best? Okay, I guess you're right. It should be a reveal. <laughs> all right, so I would say at the bottom for me... Uh, I guess plain digestives. Plain digestives. Yeah. All right, Belmont plain digestive biscuits is and at the bottom. And then I would go the dark chocolate digestives. Dark chocolate Belmont digestive. Gotcha, gotcha. And then I would go fig rolls probably. Fig rolls, baby. And then I would go the Cadbury chocolate chip cookies. Cadbury chocolate chip cookies coming at you. And then, then it gets hard. <laughs> yeah, I can see what you're saying there. Um, all right, I'm gonna go chocolate orange digestives there. Wow, that one's surprising to me. Well, I just, again, I'm not a huge fan of the digestives, but yeah. if I'm going to eat a digestive, it would definitely be these. Right, I gotcha, I gotcha. Uh, this one's surprising me, this is what's left. Oh, really? Wow. And then the M&S. Shortbread. Wow. <laughs> Your yeah. favorite are the custards? Yeah. Wow. It really reminded me of s'mores. Wow. That's shocking to me. I know. All right. So what would what just give me a what would you rate the lower and the top tier just like number? number? Just just real quick. I'm just curious. These I would say nine. So really good. And nine. These would probably be like eight. Okay. Eight um these I would say a three. Okay. Three and a half, four, five. Okay. All right. So my turn. We're gonna do this. We're gonna put the uh, dark chocolate. Mm. Okay. This is this is very hard. I agree. This is very very hard. Um. Yes, I mean, I you mean, you don't it. even like chocolate orange. I do now. I like Galaxy chocolate oh orange goodness. digestive biscuits. All right, so chocolate orange. Coffee. Actually, no, we gotta do this right here. Galaxy, Galaxy guy, we're back there. Yeah. Did I? How did I? I don't remember. Uh, you had. It was really close. Yeah. Um, I, 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 don't, I like the M and S shortbread slightly better than the Grandma mm -hmm, Wilds. Same. Grandma Wilds was great. But it was just a little, a little sweet. More, yeah, and a little crunchier, like grittier. Yeah, I, I like the the way the texture was, the Mark and Spencer's. Mm -hmm. But excellent. Um, if I'm going to go, this was really hard down here, especially. Yeah. This, the the the, top, the bottom was really hard. Um, the the Belmont dark chocolate digestives, I probably give a, a four, mainly because I'm not a big fan of how bitter the chocolate is. Um, it just was a little undersweet. Mm -hmm. The Cadbury... Uh, Cookies were probably a, they weren't bad. They were middle of the road. They're probably about five, five and a half. And then you got these digest and fig rolls are about a, about a six mm. or so. And then up here, this is kind of somewhere in the middle. And then the, the Galaxy Dynamics Orange is 9.5. You hardly ever hear me say anything <laughs> that good. Those are one of the best things I've wow. ever tried that are packaged. They're really good. Uh, these custards are probably about a nine-ish, and this uh, Mark Spencer's probably about an eight point five eight. Yeah. So yeah. Wow. Okay. Excellent, guys. Love it so much. Uh, but yeah, like it, we'll probably turn these into pie crust. Yeah, or or like a cheesecake crust. Okay. Yeah. So, anyways, um, but this was good, guys. Really enjoyed doing the biscuits with tea. And thank you to everybody who sent these in so that we could try them. We really appreciate it. Absolutely. That. And thank you to everybody who's watching as well. You got anything you want to add before we go? Mm -mm. All right, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please click that like button. Feel free to drop your comments or suggestions about this video or others. And don't forget to subscribe to continue to follow us to try anything and everything from the UK and Ireland. Until next time, guys. Peace. Bye.